So as a lot of you probably already know, Linux gaming has come a long way in the past few years, to the point now where there aren't even that many games that don't work on Linux, which I find to be really impressive. It's just amazing that our community can do that. But that got me wondering, how well does Linux support VR? After all, VR is supposed to be the future of gaming. So we're going to be discussing that right now on the Linux Lounge. So indeed, today we're going to be discussing whether or not Linux is ready for VR. I think in order to measure this, we're going to have to talk about how well Linux supports VR hardware, and how well it supports VR software and games. If we do that, we should have a pretty good idea of how much VR gaming Linux can do. So first, let's talk about VR software. There are lots and lots of great VR games out there, but sadly, almost all of these games do not support Linux natively. But thankfully, that is not the end of the story, as Valve's own fork of wine, Proton, actually enables you to play most of the most popular VR games. For instance, it is compatible with VRChat, Beat Saber, Boneworks, and Half-Life Alex, as well as many other fantastic VR titles, which is something that I find to be really impressive. Also, as a side note, if you want to see some VR stuff running on Linux, ToxFu has a series of videos where they test out various different VR things on Linux. As you can see from the footage on screen, they've tested Half-Life Alex on Linux and it actually works really, really well. Without videos like those, this video here would not exist. So definitely go out and check out their series. I will have a link in the description to their channel. And as well as that, there are many other creators making videos about VR on Linux that you should definitely go and check out. So with that said, back to the video. So now we know that most of the VR games that you'd want to run on Linux can indeed run. But what about the VR headsets themselves? Do they work under Linux? Well, it's complicated. The Valve Index is advertised as working under Linux, and in typical Valve fashion, actually works very well under Linux from what I've heard. The HTC Vive also apparently works very well under Linux too, and there are several videos showing this. So already you have two options for VR headsets under Linux. The problem is that buying either one of these two headsets is very expensive. So that might lead people to wonder if Oculus headsets work on Linux as they're quite a bit more affordable and more widespread. Sadly though, Oculus headsets do not work under Linux because there are no official drivers. Although there are some unofficial drivers called OpenHMD, which aims to support a variety of VR headsets, including Oculus headsets from the DevKit 1 to the Rift S. But sadly, none of these headsets are supported very well. The best supported headset is probably the Oculus Rift DevKit 2 and Consumer Version 1, and even they only have experimental support for essential features like position detection. Headsets like my Rift S don't support position tracking at all, meaning that you can't really use them for VR games, and headsets like the highly popular Quest 2 aren't supported at all. Perhaps the saddest thing about the Open HMD drivers is that they really don't have very much active development at the moment. And as far as I can tell, the drivers haven't had an update in over a year. So if you're watching this video and you have the skills, please do go help out the Open HMD project. But for now, sadly, if you have an Oculus headset, then using it on Linux isn't really an option, except for maybe with the dev kit one and consumer version one headsets, depending on your expectations and willingness to tinker. So in conclusion, is Linux ready for VR? Well, I'd have to say that it really depends. If you get a headset like the Valve Index or HTC Vive, then you can probably play VR games on Linux fairly well. But the main problem here is that getting those headsets are vastly more expensive than the Oculus alternatives. So I think that for the time being, getting into Linux VR gaming probably won't be affordable for most people, myself included. I think that my conclusion here is that Linux VR gaming is totally doable, and I imagine that you can have a pretty good experience with it, despite the fact that you might encounter some issues here and there, since Linux VR gaming is sadly a niche within a niche. But it isn't as affordable as VR gaming on Windows, as most of the headsets that will work on Linux are quite expensive. But, with that said, 
Considering how new PC VR is, it's actually pretty impressive that Linux can handle it already, and I think in the future Linux will make an absolutely amazing VR gaming platform. I think for me personally though, I'm going to have to wait until some cheaper headsets that support Linux come out, but I do think that they will definitely come along at some point. So with that said, that's it for today's video, I hope you enjoyed watching it and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.